Hello, I am Monica. Our new Open Zava Studio 7 release 4 is the first step towards something wonderful. Towards no more waiting. Towards instant results. I am talking about hot code reloading. Let's take a look. At first glance, our new Open Zava Studio looks just like the previous one. But no. There is a hidden difference. It turns out that the JDK, the Java, that runs the IDE and your applications is modified. It is a special JDK based on SEM and HotSwap agent, which means it allows hot code reloading. I'm going to give you a short demo. In this application, we have an action that displays a greeting. Let's change the code of this action. For that, we go back to Open Zava Studio. We do not stop the application. Instead, we start editing the action's code directly. Instead of adding the message inside execute, we will call another method where we will do the work. We'll call it say by. We create the method and then write its implementation, which will be a simple add message. Bye, bye. That's it. We click save, and we don't have to do anything else. Notice that we have not only changed the method's implementation but also modified the class structure by adding a new method. Let's go back to the browser. Without building, without stopping the application, without even reloading the page, let's click the button to see what happens. And, voila! We see by, by in the message. The new code is running. Welcome to a new world where you can change the code and see the result immediately. But, it's not all sunshine and roses. There are still some drawbacks that I'm going to talk about. The code reloading provided by OpenZava Studio 7 R4 is not perfect and has a few minor issues. The first one is that it only works when we start the application in debug mode, meaning we have to click the beetle icon to run the application instead of the arrow. This is not a big deal. The other issue is that it only works for simple changes like the example I showed you. If you modify an entity's code, add a new action in controllers, change an open Zava annotation, etc., you will have to restart the application as usual. This is because open Zava is not designed for hot reloading, as it caches all metadata. The good news is that we have already solved these issues. The next version of open Zava, 7.5, available in just a few weeks, will allow hot reloading of everything and will no longer require debug mode for hot reloading. This version of Open Zava Studio includes a JDK that enables Java hot code reloading, but you'll still need to wait a few more weeks for Open Zava 7.5 to fully enjoy hot code reloading. Remember that Open Zava Studio is the IDE, while Open Zava is the framework. These are two different things. For now, you'll need to download OpenZava Studio 7 R4, and in a few weeks, OpenZava 7.5. With both combined, you'll get full hot code reloading. You can download the new OpenZava Studio 7 R4 from the official announcement on openxava.org, where you'll find the download links and installation instructions. Bye.